So before this video gets started, if you recently signed up to be an Uber driver, but you forgot to use a referral code to get your promo of up to $1,000, it's okay. I'm gonna leave seven steps down below to apply a referral code retroactively. It takes about 30 seconds and you can do it right in your Uber driver app. A lot of people don't know that, but if you signed up for Uber and you never used a referral code, you know, it's not too late. You can actually go back and apply someone's code. Obviously, if you haven't signed up yet, uh, you can just sign up normally. I'll have links down below for both Uber and Lyft. But yeah, if you signed up, you never used a code, it's not too late. Just follow the steps down below and you can get your bonus or guarantee of up to $1,000. And now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. I'm super happy um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's really, really nice out in Southern California where I'm at. It's like 90 degrees and I love the heat. Why? Because I live right by a beach and I can go <laughs> jump in the ocean while I'm sweating. Um, no, I don't know what it is, but just the heat really makes me happy. Um, but another reason I'm happy is because Uber is introducing new um, pay rates. Well, I have mixed feelings about it. We're gonna get over it. Um, we're gonna get over it? No. I'm going to cover it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're gonna talk about it. Uber is kind of trying to shift the way that they pay drivers. And one of the ways, they have two, so they created two new updates with, well, th technically three new updates, which I'm gonna talk about in today's video. So make sure to stay tuned till the very end. And if you, you know, don't wanna watch the whole thing, just watch it on 2X speed. I watch all my videos on 2X speed. I go like this, cause I'd use shift and then what is it, shift V or something, and it makes it in 2X. Um, but without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you can hit, hit the video with a big thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. You guys might know I'm in the process of moving right now and you know, in between moving boxes and you know, unpacking stuff, setting up my furniture, um, I'm making these videos for you guys and I'm filming and editing and uploading and making thumbnails and titles and you, you guys know, uh, it, it's, Moving is stressful, so if you could leave the video with a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. No sponsor for today's video, but without further ado, let's hop right into it. So this is the first update. Uber launches a new way to make for, for drivers to make money. Uber Direct, uh, a new earnings opportunity. Be one of the first to start delivering items to customers. So you guys might have seen um, it, Amazon Flex. You know, you can sign up to do Amazon Flex and deliver packages. Um, but that's a little bit different. So that's working directly with Amazon to deliver products. This is more for, well, it's through Uber, but it's, it's, um, it's going to change the way that people, people live because now you're going to be able to order an item and get it to you within an hour. Have you ever wanted to get, I don't know, a new pair of headphones, but you just didn't want to go to the store. So you just use the same ones or, um, I don't know what else like even like even like a bag of coffee or something or like um something that you don't want to go all the way to the store to so now you can just do uber direct order items um you can now deliver items from participating organizations in your area with uber this new way to earn is optional and we want to provide you the opportunity to opt in interested in being part of the new pilot you can opt in um but here we go what do, what do you expect with doing uber direct what do you expect with delivering packages with, with Uber? Do you want to do that? Here we go. Let's check it out. Items may be as large as a suitcase. Items may be as heavy as 50 pounds per package, which 50 pounds is pretty heavy for the average person. I mean, I'm pretty buff, you know, so 50 pounds. No, I'm not buff at all. I haven't gone to the gym in, in months, which is, I mean, obviously they're closed here, but... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting weak. I need a punching bag or something. Uh, items may include a variety of items such as documents, equipment, small auto parts, or household items. Exactly, like if somebody wants to order a lamp or a speaker or even like a phone or a laptop, they're probably gonna order it through Uber Direct now and just get it an hour later. Why go through Amazon, wait two, three days for shipping? <clears throat> Which I know, delivery, people pay a premium for delivery. Um, let's say somebody's traveling and they forget their laptop charger and they're in a hotel in the middle of the city and they, you know, they'll just Uber direct 
a laptop charger. It's going to change the way people function. Um, so I'm pretty excited to be one of the first ones to be to opt into this. Um, yeah. So it's basically just going to function as you drive normally, and they'll be added on to you. I tried to. I already did opt in, but when I go to my, I'll just show you guys. Like when I go here into my um, down here on the bottom right like I already have it opted in and so I just I, I can't only do uber direct but I do have deliveries on so I'm assuming that it falls under that category but I also do uber eats too so I think uber eats and deliveries um, cool that's the first update what is the second update the second update is uber just relaunched their uh, referral code their driver referral program so if you're a new driver and you want to get a guaranteed amount of like usually it's like a thousand bucks for doing a hundred rides or two thousand dollars for doing 200 rides or three thousand dollars for doing 300 rides I know they're getting big but um, they paused that for a while due to that um, the illness I don't want to say what it actually is because you know YouTube's watching me <laughs> um, and I gotta stick to stick true to the algorithm but yeah they just brought it back and as you can see here so if if you I, I have links down below and it's for Lyft as well I know this is videos about uber but I know a lot of you guys do drive both so Lyft we have our own special referral code called the rideshare hub with Lyft down below and then um, ubers down below too but if you signed up and you didn't ref use a referral code you can um, they also allow you to apply a referral code and it just in here you just click on here go into earnings question mark down here a lot of people don't know this but yeah it's all within the your driver app go down to where is it help down to account and earnings referrals and then click invited driver report my missing or incorrect driver referral so if you signed up with no referral code just go in here and type in all the information i'll just leave it all down below i don't want to waste your guys's time in the description it's um oh yeah and then this is important too so it only works up until you re complete that number of trips so if it's 300 trips you have to do it within that time frame or as you can see here seven days um, or within seven days of completing the required number of trips. So if you've done 7,000 trips, you need to use a referral code. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It used to actually. It actually used to. They used to go back years and do it. Now they just, you have to do it within that time frame, which is still nice that they're allowing you to do it. The third update is um, cat, just follows, just um, accounts for California. So this is Prop 22's guaranteed earnings. Uh, Uber is creating a new pay model for drivers just in California. This is what, it's either gonna be this or minimum, like I'm assuming minimum wage with employees. But this is what it's gonna look like. Um, it's gonna be 120, they, it's basically an earnings guarantee. So they're gonna guarantee that you make a certain amount of money and then no cap, but I mean, yeah, let, let's get into all the details because it is a little bit misleading and yeah, here we go. So if you earn less than the guaranteed amount, 120% of minimum wage over two weeks, Uber will pay the difference. This, this earnings guarantee includes also 30 cents per mile to your account for expenses such as gas, vehicle and wear and tear and does not include tips. So you get tips on top of that, which is pretty good. Um, however, this only includes on route to pickups and on trip only. I, my biggest critique is like, I wish this just was, um, my, I have two main critiques. My first critique is that this is not enough money because 120% of minimum wage is not really that good at all. Minimum wage here is 13 bucks an hour. If you're making $13 an hour driving, that's really, really low not and like because you're putting because you're you're using your own car as an expense so you're taking a huge hit with your car you know um and then you're only netting 13 you're only re bringing revenue of 13 an hour that doesn't make any sense and 120 percent of that that's only 15 dollars 60 cents an hour um 30 cents per mile 
that's also super low. That's all barely half of what the IRS has even estimated in 2020 is 57.5 cents per mile. But, and then the second critique is this is only on route to pick up and on trip only. So you're not getting paid per hour, you're getting paid, the guarantee only applies to when you're actually working, when you're actually driving. So, of, and it's like kind of obvious that when you're driving, you're probably gonna be already making this guaranteed amount. So it's kind of, it's not really relevant to me. Um, they break it down here. Yeah, I mean, you guys can look at this screenshot if you want to do the whole math. But in my opinion, it's not great. But um, this is, yeah, this is what they're proposing. So a driver who drove 20 hours, drove 500 miles, minimum wage in LA is 13 bucks an hour. They would be getting uh, $462 for 20 hours of just on route and on trip only. But again, somebody who is on route and on trip for 20 hours is probably online for 30 hours. What are they doing during those other 10 hours? Maybe they're working and optimizing their time and building a business on the side. Or maybe they're just sitting on their park, maybe they're just sitting in a parking lot scrolling on Instagram like most drivers probably are. So um, just waiting for rides and you're definitely not getting paid at all in between rides. So again, calculate it as you will, but third, it's in my case, in between rides, you're still working. You're just waiting for work, waiting for rides. So it's more like, 462 bucks divided by 30 hours. So, yeah, let's just do the math. 462 divided by 30 hours. Oh, what is it? 462 divided by 30 hours. $15 an hour. Is that good? No. <laughs> Why? Because you're still paying the money on your car. You're still, you still have to pay for gas. You still have to pay for wear and tear in your car. It's like they want you to calculate it as if the 30 cents per mile is like a reimbursement. It's not, that's just included in the guarantee. You still have to pay wear and tear in your car. So again, I'll just do the math really quick. 462, let's say the 500 miles based on the IRS estimated mileage expense rate is uh, 57.5 cents. So your estimated spending hit taking a hit of $287.50. That does not include depreciation, by the way, which I always like to add on depreciation, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's not, let's say your car does not depreciate at all in value, driving, putting 500 miles in your car, which doesn't make any sense, but let, sure, let's just include the depreciation. Why? Why not? Let's let's be let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let's be fair, right? Uber wants to play around. Let's let's play back with them. So, let's say that your car. Let's just say it's an extra fifteen cents per um, per mi per mile in depreciation. So five hundred times point one five. So it's an extra seventy five bucks of an expense. And what was it? Two eighty seven. 287.5 plus 75. So $362.50 that you're taking as a hit on your car. So what was it before? 462. 462 minus 362.5. You're basically profiting $99.50 over the course of 30 hours. So divide that by 30. You're basically making $3 an hour. This is Uber's amazing new guarantee. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just being realistic. Like, I do the math when I drive. Like, does it make sense to be an Uber driver? Like, under, that's why in New York, in New York City, they actually made it fair and drivers have to be paid $27 per hour because um, they take into account how much money it actually costs to operate a vehicle. It costs a lot of money to operate a vehicle. A lot of Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, they don't even think about that. They don't do any math at all. They just think, oh yeah, I'll go out and drive and I make a hundred bucks a day. Uh, I'll be great. But they didn't realize they put on 200 miles in their car and they probably profited like zero dollars at the end of the day. And then next month they're gonna have to change their tire. They're gonna have to um, do an oil change, whatever. Then they have to sell their car and the negative inequity and all this stuff. But anyways, 
that's the that's the three new updates so thank you guys for watching today's video and i will talk to you guys soon make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos bye guys